thank you very much for having us and congratulations on the award. Most appreciate it. Uh, what was the third process when you emerged the winner during the award ceremony? What was the third process? Good question. I attribute everything to the Almighty because uh, without Him, nothing would have uh, materialized. So that's what excites me more than anything else. Right. Yeah, I'm seeing. Can, can you briefly tell us about this award? Right. This award really is there to appreciate me as a writer, as a leader of society. This award was um, awarded to me by Phoenix Publishing, which organized this national event to honor those who were the writers for quite so long, but without getting recognition. So they saw it fit to ask for submissions from across the whole of Zimbabwe, and even Zimbabwe writers who are in the diaspora, they made their submissions. So I'm glad that my book stood out among the good ones which were there, and it emerged as the best book in its own category for the year 2023. Right. Um, can you briefly tell us about this this book, which one, and why do you think it managed to to make it? The book is titled "Super Patriots of Motherland," which is a story about one country which was under colonialism for quite some time, but then it emerged from colonialism into nationhood. You know, and then. The book goes on to contrast the two eras, the colonial and the post-colonial periods. And it's a story about people who love their country so much. And I was looking at different countries in the world that were under colonialism. But then there is this one country which stands out, which is called Motherland. So it's up to the writer to make a judgment on whether life before independence was better than after independence. So it's subjective. One better we have this own conclusion, which may be different from one other reader's conclusion. Why do you think uh, at the end of the day the book made the cut? Right. The book went through adjudication. There were several adjudicators who went through the book and each made their own score. And at the end, the book emerged at the top simply because the story that I write in the, in the book is really impactful. There are a lot of lessons, and uh, talking of editing itself, well, it's top notch. The storyline, the plot, well, you can't subject anything. So, as far as I'm concerned, as the writer of the winning title, I think I did my best in coming up with the story. And the editors also played the part, and not even if you played the part itself. Amazing. Tell us the story. Right. Is, this, is this the first time of you winning an award? This is my first time. That is why I'm so excited. Because you know, as a writer, you write books. But without getting the recognition, you know, in terms of having an award, you don't feel complete. So this award makes me feel that what I am writing makes sense. Yes, there are many writers out there who have not yet won in a word, yet their books are so good. So it's just a matter of time and chance. Right, coming from a small place like Quake and winning in a word, uh, how does that make you feel? As a citizen in the rest of the world, this really makes me feel so
so proud. Of it makes me a useful resident, someone who contributes to you know putting paper on the map, on the literal map, so to say. Right, and the advice which you might have for writers in small in small towns in small cities. Thank you for that question. Things do not happen in big cities alone. We may have a writer in Slovela in Jombe, a writer in Kopo, a writer in Dotito. They should not feel put down by their environment or by their circumstances. Right? You are big in that setting. So write your own story. Tell your own story to the world. And that story is going to make an impact. And where do we see, this is the first as you've indicated, where do we see Mr. Chaipa uh, as a right? Five years, ten years, twenty from now. Thank you. Person. Looking ahead, Roger Sopeni Chaipa sees himself as one of the best writers in the world. Yes, I check this national award in Zimbabwe. This is just the beginning. I want to go international. I need that international award in the recognition of my works. I have many writers whom I look up to. We have made it. We talk of the Nobel Peace Prize of Literature. That's what I aspire to be. Even if I may not get there, but I want to get somewhere, you know, the bigger world stage. Right. Uh... It's quite interesting that in Zimbabwe we don't have much writers who have made it on the international scene, unlike in West Africa. Uh, why is it that so? Right. Um, you know, Zimbabwe has had many writers in the past. Yes, a few have made it on the international stage. But I think it was because of the time that they wrote their books, or maybe the strategies that they used in order to market themselves. There's a right way to market yourself. So those ones, like we talk of writers in Nigeria, you know, we used to write to read the Pasetas in the early 80s. Nigeria was making an impact worldwide in terms of uh, literary works. It was because of their marketing strategy. So I think Zimbabwe is with very, very good writers. What they need to do is to market their works. You know, we have platforms like Amazon, you know, where you can put up a book there, it gets seen by the whole world, it gets recognized, it gets recognized, and then things will start happening. Even locally, you need to market yourself as well. Uh, how different is your strategy to yesteryear writers, to the present writers, which you which will see you uh, on the international stage? Nowadays, comparing myself to yesteryear writers, is that we have more platforms to market ourselves. The writers of the era gone by, you know, the limited platforms. It was just published in your book in hard copy and then you put it in bookshops. But these days, you talk of the online platforms. You talk of the hard copy platform where you can put your books on the shelves in bookshops, right? Then the online market is so big, it's the widest. So I think we are more advantaged nowadays than the writers who came before me. Finally, anything which you'd like to end? I would like to say to the sponsors out there, please recognize the work that is done by the Zimbabwean writers. You know, these people toil day and night. You know, they sweat but without any recognition. Yet, their works contribute a lot, a lot to, towards societal transformation. So, with people like Phoenix, I think we'll go far. We need more of such events to honor writers. 
in different categories so that we promote writing. Because if writing dies, then society dies as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Chaipa, for your time. Most appreciated.